Hello and good morning everybody. Welcome, it must be another Monday, another vlog. I wanted to talk to you this week about a cause that I am fundraising for in a couple of weeks. On February 19th, from 2.30 p.m. until whenever we get shut down, uh, I will be doing a prom charity stream on Twitch. You can find a link down below. And if you could hit the like button and leave a comment or hit the subscribe button, that would help greatly. Thank you very much. Let's talk about Trans Lifeline. For those of you who don't know, Trans Lifeline is a hotline here in North America that anyone can call at any time. This hotline was created by trans people for transgender people. That means anyone from anywhere in North America can call this phone number and talk to someone about any issues that they're going through. They've got resources, they've got emotional support. They're gonna be a great resource, especially for those trans folks who live somewhere where there aren't a lot of obvious resources to connect to someone, to maybe talk about things that they can't talk about with anyone else where they live. Maybe it's not safe for them to talk to anyone where they live. And so they can reach out, they can talk to someone who understands what it's like and maybe be connected to some local resources. Maybe they can get connected to uh, some other services that might be able to help them at whatever stage they're at. And it's overall just a great, great resource for transgender folks. As a trans woman myself, I completely understand the need for a resource like this. I was very fortunate and I live in a city that has a lot of resources and is a traditionally been a great place for trans people and even with that it's still really really tough i can't imagine what it would be like then to live somewhere that doesn't have the resources that i have here i have friends who have worked on the phone lines i have friends who have used the phone lines i know the importance of trans lifeline that's why it's super important to me to support trans lifeline so on February 19th, I'm going to have a prom charity stream. I'm going to put on my favorite prom dress. I'm going to get my hair and makeup done the best I can during a pandemic. And we're going to have a great time. We're going to listen to some music. We're going to have lots of fun conversations. We're going to dance on stream. And we're going to raise money. There's going to be a lot of incentives. There are giveaways. There are fiery jelly beans. There are going to be things to unlock that hopefully is a good time for all. I did a prom stream back in August of last year and it was a blast. Uh, I got some friends, we all had a good time. Someone asked me to slow dance during a slow song. It was wonderful. Because of DMCA, I'll have to curate the playlist to have non-copyright songs, but we're not gonna let that stop us. We're gonna have some fun times. We're gonna chat about things. We're gonna reminisce perhaps. Maybe we're not going to reminisce. Maybe we don't need to talk about, you know, proms at high school that we had. Some of us didn't have great proms. Some of us had amazing proms. Uh, we'll just kind of go with the flow. But in the end, the important thing is that we are supporting a great resource for trans folks. As someone who grew up in a very rural area, I can completely empathize with folks who grew up or are currently living in areas where they may not have resources. It's not easy, and it can feel very isolating. So a resource like Trans Lifeline can connect those people outside of those communities to resources, maybe perhaps nearby. You know, the clinic that I go to actually serves about a four state radius. There are people who travel from hundreds of miles to where I live to get the type of treatment that they want whether that's hormone replacement therapy or voice therapy or perhaps they're getting other types of uh, body modifications done. People come from all over. There is just a ton of areas that don't have the resources or doctors with the knowledge to properly care for trans folks. So we have to do whatever is necessary to get those resources into the hands of people who may not know that they exist or where they exist. So please, on February 19th, come, stop by. If you can give a little, please give. If you can't give, please get the word out. 
You can find a link to my Twitch page down below. Give me a follow there. You know, make an account. Come chat with us. Come have a good time. If you decide to dress up as well, you could join our Discord and post a selfie in your... You could wear a prom dress. You could wear a tuxedo. You could wear a... The confines of gender conformity in formal wear. Let's go. Let's do it. And I can't wait to see you and support a great cause like Trans Lifeline.